All right, a few of you have asked me how the heck I'm affording to buy these old Nintendo 64 games. Well, today you're going to get it, albeit in some really grainy footage, because I wasn't really planning on sharing it at first. It was just something I put a Marco Polo out. So I'm going to download a crappy Marco Polo message to show you guys what I got. So here it is. Just take it what it's worth. It's grainy. It's bad, but you know what it is. Cause I'm excited about it at the time and it's pretty cool and unique. So take a look. I know it's not an Xbox game. You guys don't appreciate Xbox. But look at this. You guys turn and burn video games. I got behind me a custom hovercraft. Paid a thousand bucks for it. My stepdad and I, we just listed it for $27.50 and got like, how many phone calls? Like five already. Five in five 10 minutes. minutes. Yeah, not we bought it yesterday for a thousand. Flipping it for $27.50 today. The video game market doesn't have these kind of markups. Okay, so yeah, I bought a freaking hovercraft. That's what I flipped. I wasn't flipping video games for 20, 30, 40 bucks. I flipped a hovercraft. Me and my stepdad bought a hovercraft for a thousand bucks. We ended up not getting the offer for 2,700. I believe we sold it for 2,200, 22 or 2,250. I ended up getting, I think, 600 bucks for it. So I got $600 in two days from buying a hovercraft and selling it. No, I don't know what a hovercraft is like. I rode it around for like 20 minutes. We sold it because someone needed the money and we just happened to have the cash at the time. So we bought it for a thousand, sold it for 2,200, split the difference, feeling pretty good about it. Feeling pretty good. So that's how I got 600 bucks to spend a lot of this money. Still not enough, but there you go. That's the one thing I flipped so far during this vlogging that has given me a bunch of extra cash that I wasn't expecting. All right, now let's get into the true vlog. I am back in a familiar place, Steve's Pawn Shop. Now, if you remember a few vlogs ago, this place was like the mother load. I got some good stuff, got an expansion pack, even though I realized it was aftermarket, still an expansion pack for like 15 bucks. Got PGA European Tour, which is a higher price game for like 15 bucks and a couple other games that were well, well uh, priced for me. This guy's super cool. He knows his games, but he doesn't mind giving us a good deal because he wants me to come back. So I'm gonna see if Steve's got some new games in his collection recently and see if I left something on the table from last time. Let's check it out. All right, we're gonna go check out Steve's Pawn Shop. See what we got in here. I'm good. Vlogging it. Going for a complete set, so I'm kinda collecting every game. Which means you probably already have Mario Kart. I just got that one actually, but yeah, it took, for some reason that one took me a while to get a hold of. That's a spendy one. Yeah, I was gonna say, I had a copy over here and we were gonna put it out like 40 bucks. Yeah, that's not bad for a price, not bad at all. No, that's all right, I'll, I'll pick through these ones. See what we got here. Surgery done at one knee and then did a hip and then did another 
your knee and, and put up. And she won't let nobody else put up his foot in the hand. Well, Hanson, Hanson studied with the guy all of the therapies all of the so just popped out of pawn shop if you watched any of the vlogs you've kind of seen that most of the games in there i already had so there wasn't really anything that i was like oh my gosh so what i did is i picked up a couple games and i picked up a new peripheral that i have been wanting to get so it's kind of just convenient to get it but didn't get the best deal um even though they marked them all down a little bit they were all overpriced to begin with so it really came down to close to market value so i ended up getting the n64 transfer pack now this is most famously known for Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. I honestly don't even know what else you can use this for. I'll do some research. But I got the Nintendo 64 transfer pack for use with the Game Boy. So you can put your Pokemon, take your Gen 1, Gen 2 Pokemon, and play them in Pokemon Stadium. And I still have my games. So I still have the full Pokemon games with my uh, 150 collection on there. So I should be able to pop that in if it still holds up battery-wise. Next, I got Disney Presents... Tigger's Honey Hunt. I'm guessing this one's gonna spend about 0 .0 seconds in my Nintendo. I'll probably test it out and that's gonna be about it. But uh, I didn't have it. They were asking, I don't even know, 18 bucks for this or something. It's worth 10. And then 007, the world is not enough. I needed to get this. I've seen it a few times. They were asking uh, 18 for this one and then marked it down as well. So both these games are overpriced. This one's worth about 15. So what I did is I ended up getting all three of these for 40 out the door. And if you go on price charting, if you go on eBay, the going rate is about 40. I'm going to say 38 is what the exact number was. So technically I lost $2. Um, that's kind of been the going thing for me lately. Spend more than they're worth. But as this vlog is getting deeper and deeper into my collection, games will be harder to find. And I'm going to probably start spending a little more money to find some of these harder to find games, if that makes sense. So I'm not necessarily opposed to it, but it's just something i got to do. But one thing is, with these two games, guys, I'm at 200. 200 games. I have 96 North American games left. So I am really excited about that. It's about freaking time. Finally won a bid on eBay and for a game that I consider one of the big five, Worms Armageddon. It's either the fourth or fifth rarest game in the N64 collection, depending on what kind of what's going on. This and Bomberman Second Attack go back and forth. So I have three of the five rarest games. Pick this up for 185. It's worth about 200, so there is some profit to be made if I ever needed to get rid of it, although I'm not. This could be a little better shape here on the label, but not bad. Clean cartridge for the most part, works, tested it. Very happy to have this in the collection. Game number 201. So happy to finally win a bid. You saw that struggle. Oh my gosh, I lost a lot, but we're gonna keep moving forward. The collection is not complete, so let's see what else I picked up.